Hi guys, welcome back to Down Under Thailand. Here I'd just like to talk a little bit about the Long Nok Cha airstrip. I did have a video before about that, showing Talony driving on it. Now, people might wonder why is there even an airstrip there? And I touched a little bit on the fact that it was built during a period of conflict. Now, to get into that a bit further, what possible connection could the CIA have with a little sleepy hollow? So I'll give you a little bit of history on the area. To northeast Thailand, Isan, many people would believe it's just a sleepy little area of Southeast Asia that doesn't have a lot to talk about in recent history. When I say recent history, probably a period from about 1900 onwards, you might believe that it's a really quiet, calm area that's separate from the world and world politics and major international events. But the truth is somewhat different. In northeast Thailand, let's talk about the area from Ubon Ratchitani in the south of that area, bordered below it by Cambodia. There is ongoing historical conflict over that border between Thailand and Cambodia around the Siam Reap and Angkor Wat, the ancient famous Khmer temple city. The world only became aware of Angkor Wat in recent times, but it has been a disputed area well before and between these two countries. In earlier history, the Khmer were fierce organised invaders looking to increase their area of power. At this time, many bordering countries were less organised and easily overrun, mostly because they were less unified internally, made up of many fragmented fiefdoms and no central rule to unite them. Khmer forces invaded and influenced large areas of Thailand for long periods of time. This can be seen in many ancient temple cities throughout Thailand, predominantly Khmer. Eventually, Thailand became unified under a central king and ruler who fought back and pushed the Khmer out of Thailand. Most of the border dispute stems back to this period, both sides with different ideas of where the original border should have been. But ever since World War II, there have been some important historical events that are not widely known. There's been an ongoing conflict from about 1912 that culminated in 1983, where there was a communist insurgency, particularly Lao or Laos, as you know, true predominantly through that area of Thailand. At one point, Ho Chi Minh was resident in northeast Thailand during conflicts, and there have been battles. When amnesty was given for a lot of rebels and rebel groups, these supposed communist groups were predominantly Vietnamese nationals, communist party members that were resident in Thailand and had been been absorbed into the Thailand area a long way before this. A number of these people still bore allegiance to the communist movement, and it's noted in Wikipedia that the communist insurgency in and throughout Thailand was a guerrilla war lasting from 1965 until 1983, fought mainly between Communist Party of Thailand, the CC CPT, and the government of Thailand. The war began to wind down in the early 80s, following the declaration of an amnesty. And in 1983, the CPT abandoned the insurgency entirely, ending the conflict. In 1960, North Vietnam had created a training camp for Thai and Laotian volunteers. A total of 400 people attended the camps in the first year of operation. Ideologically, the CPT aligned with Maoism, and during the Sino-Soviet split, the party sided with the Chinese Communist Party. In 1964, the Thailand independence movement issued a manifesto demanding the removal of US military personnel from Thailand and calling for the regime to change. In 1961, small groups of Patet Lao insurgents infiltrated North Thailand. Local Communist Party cells were organised and volunteers were sent to Chinese, Laotian and North Vietnamese training camps. Training focused on armed struggle and terror tactics to fight capitalism in the region. Between 1961 and 65, insurgents carried out a total of 17 political assassinations. 90% of insurgency related incidents occurred in northeast of the country. Despite five insurgent attacks on bases used by the United States Air Force in Thailand, American involvement in the conflict remained limited. Following the defeat of the National Revolutionary Army and the Chinese Civil War, 
Corps, its 49th Division crossed into Thailand from the neighbouring Yuman province. These Chinese troops quickly integrated the entire society and engaging in lucrative opium trade under the aegis of corrupt officials. In 1967, the Opium War broke out. Government forces became involved, destroying a number of villages and resettling, resettling suspected communists. The Thai government deployed 12,000 troops to the northeastern provinces in January 1972. They carried out a six-week operation where 200 militants were killed. During the brutal anti-communist operations between 1971 and 73, it took an official death toll of around 3,008 civilians throughout the country, while unofficial estimates say that this was actually in the Pratam province alone. Efforts to end insurgency led to an amnesty being declared on the 23rd of April 1980, but by 1983 the insurgency had come to an end. The question is, you know, was the US in Thailand during the Vietnam War? And the answer is most vehemently yes. The United States Air Force deployed combat aircraft to Thailand from 1961 to 1975 during the Vietnam War. During that period, the Vietnam War, about 80% of all Utah State's Air Force airstrikes on North Vietnam originated from the air bases in Thailand. At its peak in 1969, more airmen were, service, were serving in Thailand than were serving in South Vietnam. The United States Air Force presence grew rapidly with the expansion of the Laotian Civil War and the Vietnam War. The U.S. Air Force would eventually use eight air bases in Thailand, Don Wang, Kurat, Nakhon Phnom, Nam Phong, Tak Le, Ubon, Udon, and Utapo. Thailand soon became the largest station of the United States Air Force in Southeast Asia. Among them, Utapo was a B-52 airbase that had great strategic importance. Thai officers commanded each base all through these activities, um, but the activities were largely carried out by the Americans. These bases had more than 400 aircraft and 25,000 service personnel. The Thai Air Force not only maintained its own planes at each base, but also had the task of providing group security, air security for the huge installations. More than 80% of the airstrikes on the North Vietnamese Army and guerrilla camps were carried out from these Thai bases. Long Nok Tha Airport was built by the United States Army, along with allies uh, England, Australia and New Zealand. During the Vietnam War, construction began in November 1963, taking about three years to complete. Formerly known as Crown Airfield, the runway is a concrete floor, 1,530 metres long, with asphalt ends 150 metres either side. The width of the runway is about 40 metres. There is little official information to say what part this airstrip played during its usage or co-usage. Information mostly comes from servicemen who were serving there, but amongst those recollections, it becomes evident it was actively engaged in those war efforts, even to the point that during the build of the strip, the progress had to be reported to both the Thai government and the affected partners. This included the United States Air Force, and interestingly enough on that same list was also Air America, listed separately as one of those parties. Many people are aware of the type of activities they performed, also that they were a covert tool of the CIA. Servicemen had made specific mention of seeing their planes on Long Octar Estra. There are also photographs purporting to have been taken of those such instances. It is known that Air America flew support into Laos. The border is barely 30 kilometres away as far as the, the crow flies, but the nature of their activities is often shrouded in mystery and would not bear public scrutiny. Too many skeletons in their closet. It is said that during the Vietnam War, the United States has built several secondary airports, both in Thailand and in and in Laos, to crash the planes that had taken damage during sorties over those places so that they could land them at the nearest airport, also to take advantage of transporting war weapons. Long Noctea Airstrip is located in Bangkok Samaran, Kok Talat, Long Noctea District, Yasoton Province, and is the Royal Thai Army Airfield. Mem, 
My wife, you know her as Talon, is old enough to remember these times and conflicts. She doesn't need to read it in a book. It happened around her while she was growing up. People of Isan have often been the front line facing conflicts on Thailand's borders. Bangkok, mostly in later history, has been insulated from this. So when you become aware there is a disconnect in some ways between the two, it's not surprising. So that was really a little insight with the photos to show that it's not a sleepy backwater. It's had its times when there has been considerable conflict, not an easy sleepy hollow. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe as normal. I'll bring you more contact shortly. Please give me a like. Pop some comments, some questions down below. Would love to have a little bit of a chin wag with you. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.